All right, everybody. This is Tyler, also in pocket, and welcome back to more Fallout 4 Far Harbor DLC. There's Nick. In the last one, we made our way to Arcadia, and we revealed, revealed our true selves. We are, in fact, taken over by synths. And now, we are going to be doing some stuff around Arcadia itself. And hopefully getting uh, things done in a reasonable manner. But first, like when you always go to a new place, you always have to shell out to the corporate. Hey, hello everybody. I want a G Fuel flavor, so if you if you ever buy G Fuel, just tell them Pocket, pocket Size Weeb sent you. I'm not sponsored or anything because I'm just a small channel. So, hey. You gotta shell out somewhere, and if you don't shell out now, then you, then it's gonna come as a surprise when you shell out later. All right, time to drink some more of the terrible bubble gum. Ah, definitely not gonna cause me reproductive harm in the future. Technical document. Bespoke Scotty girl. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Is that a misc? Where did that go? Oh. Wait. Wait, what? No. It, it. What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even know that was a piece of armor. Or, uh, like, an outfit or something. What the hell? <laughs> Unfortunate. What the? Okay, whatever. Anything in the inner circle that I could steal from you? Duct tape. Military grade, so it has ballistic fiber on it. Bulky pen. Wonder glue. Desk fan. And a shit ton of stuff. Alright, Dima. I wish, I wish the I in uh, Dima was not capitalized. For, like, aesthetic effect. Compared to, like, all the other people. But I guess that's just something that they can't yes. do. Don't talk to me, Faraday. I don't want to be in one of your cages. Clothing iron. Desk fan. Globe. Duct tape. I need all the adhesive I can. You want me to take a look at that terminal? You can say the word. I always had a way with machines. Huh, get it? Cause he, cause he is one. Okay, never mind. Yes. God, stop talking to me, Faraday. Screwdriver, blast radius, quick save. Always have the quick save because you never know when it crashed. Cause it crashed on me two times yesterday. Is that up it for up here? There's a bobby pin in the locker. I think that might be it. No, I never looked up. This is actually pretty neat. Let me go head up the stairs, actually. Forest key. That leads to the lower floors, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Any lootables up here? Any junk that you don't want? Any stuff I can just grab right away? Hell yeah. Those things are expensive. There's an invisible ceiling right here. <laughs> hey, y you mind keeping an eye out for a sec? I gotta run a diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What'd they miss? That's funny. Oh. I, I found the storage key. I mean, nothing's... Uh-oh. I mean, nothing's bad. Hold on. Only opens with a key. I mean, I got the storage key. I don't know where that goes to, but... Yes? I found a key. Stop talking to me. <laughs> Is there a special area or something? You're building a collection or something? I take junk, companions. 
Hmm. I wonder what funny dialogue I could say here. Salesman Weekly. Desk fan. Grab something. I don't know what you're going to use that for, but it's definitely not something I would use it for. It's like, wow. So you're not going to customize your gun to make it do more damage? I see how it is, motherfucker. Some random person just comes in and just starts stealing their medical supplies. Everybody, huh, I guess that's fine. Dima said that they so, were allowed here. I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? Don't talk to me. Fertilizer. Blood leaf. Blood leaf. Oh, there's a lot of blood leaf here. I'm just taking their goddamn shit and they can't say nothing about it because Dima said I'm allowed to be here. Black blood leaf. More for Hell yeah. Give me more fertilizer, please. So, I understand you've seen a good Shut bit of our island. up. What do you think? Brahma milk, scotch, tarberry. Nah. There's more back here. Aster and melon. Do you happen to have any, uh, vine weed or whatever that is? Some dink kush? Sounds like you got the all clear. Yeah, I got all, I got the all clear. What about it? Cog's journal. Help Friday move some of Dima's equipment in the observatory area. Bad enough it that those things are so damned heavy, but Faraday always insists I empty my pocket in the case. I'm carrying something that would disrupt the sense of instruments that blah 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 blah. Look, I get it. The boy is in love, but I I could whack Dima's computers with a sledgehammer and it wouldn't damage a damn thing. So we're in the upper deck of the observatory. I finished putting everything I got on the table, and Chase comes in and starts yelling at Faraday about some emergency meeting they're supposed to have. So of course Faraday leaves me to push around the computers on my own. I went to Demon and complained, but he just says that I need to focus on the negativity within and accept the people around me as they are. Yep, another damn sunny day in Acadia. Fuse. I need to go find... Who was that? Cog? And give her that fuse, because apparently like she's blown one. So what's your story? My story is none of your goddamn business. Fashionable glasses now. I'm just here to steal your shit and get out. Are you calling? Did you need something? Nope, I'm just here to take your shit, like I said. Nothing here. Nothing in weapons workbench. Nothing in armor workbench. Model Liberty Prime. I should give that to the brother to steal. They probably need it. I'll take the revolvers just so I can get the stuff from it. Excellent. From radiation based attacks. That's good against the children of Adam. That's Naveen. She has a nice ass, though. I mean, as nice of an ass, it's on like, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Right. Must be, <laughs> because I don't recognize you. Or Jewel. Ooh. Psycho. Capstash. If I find Cog, I have to give her a fuse. Still just Jewel. Cole. Ooh. That was a weird stutter. Like I got force pushed. I dropped two seconds of frame somewhere. Bit unfortunate, but that's just something? the way it goes. <clears throat> I assume you're not planning on staying long. Gosh, after a welcome this warm, who wouldn't want to just stay forever? This place isn't for you. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, 
and things can go bad fast. Want me to tell the Brotherhood be nice to me? Safe place, <laughs> then we take them in. Let them live as a synth without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. You can relax. I'm not a threat. Just don't Yet. cause any trouble. She feels tends to precipitate Did you out. Need something? Maybe I'm using a slight bit too much. Communist eradicator. Short radium rifle. Wait, what? Why does the barrel need nuclear material? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Bull barrel. Hunter. I like that one better. That looks so stupid. Uh, let's do that one. Put a short scope on it. want to buy something or what oh I can give this one a thing too okay um acid trip looks cool Nuka cola the gainer bronze chrome gold desert tan Flames, sure. Every armament is a chance to do right or wrong. That thing looks like it could do a lot of either. Best us in lead. So I need to find more cigarettes. I've been told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore. But they sure bring in the business. Uh what what was that called? Crimson. There you go. Nothing like having a boomstick <laughs> that literally goes boom. The communist eradicator, which God bless America. Uh, <laughs> Crimson beauty. Miss Stabby. And the mainlander. Oh, there's Kasumi. I'm watching you. <laughs> Wait, for this one, can I just press R? No, I still have to hold it. Okay. It would make sense to have it only press R if you uh, have like a melee weapon, but meh. I guess they wanted to get it. Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. I guess they wanted it to keep it consistent. Jesus Christ, how can I not say that? So yeah, I had to hold all of them. So, makes sense. I'm not going to say it's a bad design choice. Because I've seen worse design choice. I've played fucking, uh... God, what was... What was that? Oh, I, I played a bit of, uh... God damn. Jesus Christ, what's that game? Oh no, I blocked it out of my memory. Uh, Sticker Star. There it is. 
So I know what bad design choices can do. And it's definitely not sticker star bad. This man. Jesus Christ. You have like literally everything I want in here. Condensed fog. Give me more some more adhesive. I want all your adhesive. Every last drop of it. What's in that condensed fog? I could make a robot work uh bench in Hey Nick. Hey. Juan. Over here. Gun and gun. Looking for something? What does Can I make him wear that? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. And I could take his trench coat. Uh that's probably my worst Okay. Hmm. What's in those, uh, condensed fog? Steel and oil. Okay. They weigh three. How big are those jugs? Eight. Okay. And they have a lot of steel. Well, there's my problem. Gas canisters, you can have them too. The two extinguishers. The ammo bucket. All the ball peen hammers. What the fuck? I'm sorry, Nick. Also, has a, have a lot of people actually seen what he looks like without his trench coat on? He looks so weird. But I mean, he would be kind of patchworky. Because it's like, oh, look how detailed his face is. And then you look at his arm, it's like, what oh. What doing? Oh, you generally don't see that. <laughs> So now, uh, Nick is just gonna walk around like that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, hmm. The only thing that can make it worse is if I, like, somehow take that away from him, too. None of this is stealing, by the way, so I'm in the clear. Plasma cartridges. Jeez. Bag of fertilizer, bobby pin box, bag of cement. Okay, that's it for there. Hold on. I don't need any of those. What's over here? Nothing. Just looting everything I can because you never know what they have here. Doop doo doop, that's my song. Ugh. Circuitry is completely fried. Wanna know what's up? what else is completely fried? Maybe if I read out the sensors. Actually wait, I don't have anything that shoots fire. Energy output on these things are terrible. Aluminum cans. You're a mom. Wait a second. I'd almost have better luck. No accounting for taste. God, Nick, do you want me to stab you in your fucking pink Too many ass? Folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. We only have to look around to see where that got us. Wow, I threatened him, and then he's like. Yeah, don't don't you dare threat me. I'll put some logic in your ass. And it's like, oh, oh, fine then. You're gonna keep wearing that goddamn pink shirt then. Do 
do do do do do do They stay gone. Nope. Okay. I can't shoot her. <laughs> to see if she has a synth, synth component. Damn. Oh, I got it. <laughs> what about this? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I don't care if you just like that. Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... You're a what? You came all this way... I'm not a what, I'm a detective. You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me... They wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Kasumi, listen to me. You're not a synth. Believe me. I've thought about that. How you can never really know. But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? You're not a you haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Because you're not a synth. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. You're coming with me. <laughs> if something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. You mean like the how the main people are the main woman in Far Harbor, the leader, got replaced by a synth due to Dima? Or how Dima has a whole bunch of nukes underneath the Children of Adam base just in case they mess up. All right. I'm listening. Okay. Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I already have I've the also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but... Security on it is crazy. Eavesdropping on the next meeting sounds like our best bet. I already found the key to that room. You did? Great. Come back as soon as you found anything. From one case to a new one. It's never easy for us, is it? I swear someone has the key to that storage room. Maybe Cog? He's always moving supplies around as they come in. I already told you I have the key. Uh, do, do you plain old just not listen to me, lady? 
That's why I stabbed you almost to death in the other timeline. Alright, Dima, time to go fucking talk to you. Oh, hold on. Nick, do you have anything to say to him? Close. Hey, Dima. What can I do for you? Kasumi says she's seen parts of your memories. Death projections. Her far harbor and the center of the island. That's unfortunate. She should be focusing on herself. Her new life. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. Please. This is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. Just a handy reference, huh? Expect us to just take your word on it? Uh, quick save, just in case if it doesn't like it. If this thing involves the whole island, then you need help. I can be your problem solver if you let me in. I'm sorry, but I have to insist. This is a matter of security for all of Acadia. What are you talking about? What are you planning? That's my responsibility to bear. I'd ask that you not trouble yourself with it. Fine. Keep your secrets. That would be best. <laughs> All right, then keep your secrets. Let me ask you something. Okay. Okay. Ask. Uh, I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Why? Why do you ask? I just had a hard go with the uh, transition myself. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Bigots. <laughs> I, had to, I had to hear Why this. Why would you want to live among bigots like that? Nah, I couldn't really blame them. <laughs> she actually said bigots. Okay, that's, t that's top tier right there. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in diamond city heads down to power noodles guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs when security finally put enough holes in him to drop him they say he was full of servos and sprockets just like yours truly seems he malfunctioned went berserk it was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. CPG massacre. massacre of the CPG. What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. A man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. She'd, uh... <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. 
Took down four you guys. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. <laughs> this is why I like Nick Valentine, by the way. <laughs> You're not a spy, right? Testing, testing. Hello, Institute. Can you hear me? <clears throat> Hello. Hell if I know. If I am, the Institute's plan to gather intel on all the runaways of the Commonwealth has been going off without a hitch. Was it hard, settling in? Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her. Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth, but it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving?